solid food. So this is what we're talking about here when we say step by step. Yeah, that's very good, very good. And you know, as you step by step, as you walk through this life, you know, you listen to this, that we're spiritual being for real. That's why we're elaborating and teaching and encouraging on the spirituality of our life this year. And this is something that will never end until our life ends. We can always, you know, grow in grace. We can always accomplish more. We can always advance in our spiritual growth, you know, in this life that we have. Because really and truly, we are spiritual beings, ladies and gentlemen, having an earthly experience. That's all it is. The graveyard is proof of that. People come, we are born on earth, we live our lives. However many years our Creator has in store for us. And then our lives come to an end. That's why we got graveyards and cemeteries. That's proof. That's also a warning now to us who's alive because we all know somebody that we once knew in life and they passed away. That's a warning. That's an enlightenment that our day will come. So maybe we should be prepared or getting prepared. That's all we're saying. The spiritual aspect of our life will last into eternity. As you know, we was once one day old as, as baby steps, like uh, Miss G.I. Jill was, she was sharing. And now, what? We're grown adults. We went from one day old to whatever age you are presently. So now, that means what? We are advancing through this life on earth. Okay? Now, that's an encouragement word. That's very serious. But we got to live that way because lots of times we put more energy into what? What we see, what we have, what we want that's material. You know, it's priority and it should not be. It should be second rate. You know, our creator, our spirit, what makes us tick. That's the only thing that we're going to take into the next life. We want eternal life. That's going to be a spirit. See, on earth, we, we are mortal beings mortal beings. That means we're here temporary. But then we got to take off this mortal and put on immortality. Might be yeah. kind of deep, but immortality means, look, it'll never grow old. It's a spiritual being. And that's what we got to do to enter to eternity with our creator, where we came from. We was once with our creator. He's the spirit. We was in the spirit. When he created the first man, he breathed the spirit of life into Adam. And we are just like Adam. We breathe and without breath, we don't exist anymore, okay? So we're spiritual beings having an earthly experience here on earth, and this is not a final destination. Come on in now, Miss G.I. Amen. And when we talk about step by step, one step at a time, it's learning to walk under the instructions of another. That person is the Holy Spirit. So if we're obedient to the Spirit, as he speaks to us, then we can walk in obedience without doubt, without second guessing what we're doing. And since believers are indelt by the Spirit, they should also walk under his control. So that means submitting yourself, allowing yourself to be used, and allowing yourself to meditate and think on the good things of the Spirit of God. Oh, yeah, that's what it's all about right there. Now, you know what? I want to ask this question as we get ready to go off the air for this morning. And the question is, is your faith, faith, F-A-I-T-H, is it based on what you believe about God or is your faith based on what you believe about yourself and others around you? That's a big question because we want your faith to be based on God. He's the spirit. We must walk in the spirit. Amen. And don't desire the desires of the flesh. All right? Well, I just hope that y'all have learned something this morning. I know you got something to go off the air with before I can, I do. I can look I at do. you tell you got something. Come on in there. Amen. I want to share with the young ladies and the young men. We talked about the seven B's for the young ladies. But I want to say to the young ladies and the young men both, you need to... Well, as we encourage you and as we share the word with you more, you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Um, we went to a service once a few months back, and, and this older lady was there, elderly lady, shared with me after our daughter prayed that um, she asked me if I understood that a young person such as our daughter is pure. Yeah. That means that that, in, that young person's prayers 
would go up and be heard even before an adult's prayer. And that's some of the, the lessons that we're going to teach on at the next session at the Teen Center. I'm going to share with the young ladies how pure they are, how precious their bodies are, how precious they are. But that applies to the young men as well. So they can stand in the gap. They can intercede for their family, even if there are situations where their parents aren't there or their grandparents aren't. They can pray and ask God to bless them, to deliver them, and to help them with what they're going through. So I want to share with the young men and the young ladies that they are pure in the sight of God, and they need to pray and ask God to bless and deliver them. Oh, yes. God bless you. We love you. Yeah, we do. But now what, what she's saying now, she's saying that if you remember baby Jesus was born to, to a virgin, that's all she's saying, Mary. Right. And God seen the pureness of Mary's wound, her body was precious, and it was pure uncontaminated by man. Right. That's all she's saying. Now, if, if someone is not a virgin, if you lost your virginity, I want you to know God still loves you. Yes, he does. Please don't get that twisted. He does. You are still loved by us and by God, but he looks for purity. That's all she's saying. So keep yourself pure as much as you can, as long as you can. Ask God to give you strength to abstain from the lust of the flesh, okay? And he is a forgiving God. So if yes. you have lost that, then you still can pray and the Lord would forgive you. You can right. repent of yeah. that. Yeah. But we're speaking to our young people yes. to try and help them to understand how precious they are. They are. Amen. Okay. Thank you for tuning in this morning. God bless you and keep you. You know you can reach us at 706-523-2028. Or 706-457-8302. Oh, Miss G, I trying to get it in. That's right. That. That's my number, ladies. Give me a call. <laughs> Be blessed. We love you. Okay. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.